Howard Dean is going to prove to us here in 10 seconds that he didn't learn the main lesson of the 2016 election. Should the DNC continue to raise money from Wall Street interests? We should raise money from everybody who we can raise money from. Wrong. 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 Um, you had one job. You had one job, you monumental, colossal idiot. Why do you think the Democrats lost? They are now viewed by white working class Americans in what was the Democratic firewall in the Rust Belt as the establishment. They are the establishment. They are the corrupted. They are the people working for the big money interests and Wall Street. And Trump was out there, even though it wasn't true, Trump was out there saying, I, I'm not taking money, I'm, gonna, I'm self-funding my campaign. I don't need their money. I'm going to look out for the American people. We're going to make America great again. We don't need the big money interest. Is Jeb a puppet to billionaires? I don't know. I'm just asking. This is what he did. He ran his whole campaign like that. Now, again, it wasn't true, but the perception was everything to some of those voters who don't know all the ins and outs and all the details because they got to work, uh, you know, work and they don't have time to go through all these different articles with a fine tooth comb. But the framing is like it, it was so obvious and laid out there for you. Oh, if the Democrats just say, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to totally rebuild from the ground up and we're going to make it so that we don't take any money from corporations and any money from billionaires. If you have everybody take a pledge and the Democrats say that and they brag about it and they rub it in the face of the Republicans, that's the recipe and, and the, the roadmap for success. Guys, you have to understand, Bernie Sanders, an obscure senator from Vermont, only political junkies knew about him before this election, he went up against a behemoth in politics. The former first lady, the former secretary of state, the former senator from New York, she was already a big time celebrity, and it, she was anointed from the beginning. But a 976 year old guy who doesn't comb his hair, who's a Jewish atheist socialist, <laughs> came up and it got... 47% of the vote and won 22 states. And that's not even counting in the fact that the system was massively biased against him, as, you know, the WikiLeaks emails proved. How did that happen? Because he said, I'm going to do a political revolution where I don't need their goddamn money. I don't want Wall Street's money. I'm coming after Wall Street. They better run and hide, bitch, because I'm going to get them. His message resonated. Hillary's message was the exact opposite. She was hanging on for dear life against this guy who was supposed to have no shot. Why? Because Hillary Clinton represents Wall Street. She represents the establishment. Everything about her smelled like fake insider bullshit. You're going to take over $600,000 from Goldman Sachs and then go out there and pretend to care about regular people? I gave them two speeches and they gave me $675,000. Aren't I such a great person for the working class? No, you're not. And everybody sees right through you. But what if the Democrats said, that's it, we're done with that, we're cutting it off, zero dollars from Wall Street, we want no money from corporations, no money from billionaires, end of conversation. And you kept pushing that, and you kept saying that, and you kept saying, just like Bernie Sanders did, we're going to try to do this thing $27 at a time, we're going to crowdfund, because we're the party of the people, we're the party of the workers. And now our finances are going to match our rhetoric. So now if we take all this money from accountants and construction workers and all regular people, who are we going to represent? We're going to represent them. We're only taking money from the teachers and the middle class because all we want to do is represent the teachers and the middle class. We don't want to represent Wall Street. So if you do that, that's how you win. But Howard Dean, he can't see straight because now he's such a creature of Washington. There was a time when Howard Dean was a progressive. He was viewed as like the Bernie Sanders of the 2004 election. Uh, obviously, John Kerry got the nomination and the loss in the general election. Well, Howard Dean was the more progressive person in the primary. He lost his way completely. He became a lobbyist. He became a lobbyist. He sold out like that. And then he's going to go out there and he has the nerve to try to tell people the direction we should go in when his entire career has been nothing but a, a the epitome, a quintessential example of the direction you do not go in. 
Now, thankfully, he dropped out of the running to lead the DNC. He wanted to lead the DNC, but it's hilarious he even thought for a split second that he would be the right person for the job or that we would fucking tolerate that. We see through your bullshit, Howard. It's over. I need you to fucking go away. I need you to step aside. I need you to understand that you're the goddamn problem.